In this lesson, we're going to talk about chord progressions. So first, let's go over to the six chords that we learned earlier. So here are the six chords of the C major scale. C is the one chord. D minor is the two chord. E minor is the three chord. F major is the four chord. G major is the five. A minor is the six chord. And again, we use those Roman numerals to represent the chords in the scale. Uppercase means major, lowercase means minor. And then we also want to look at them as a family, right? So we saw that. We think one is the mom, two is the dad, three is the brother, four is the sister, five is the grandma, six is that emo cousin. It's kind of sad and dark, and we'll check that out. So a chord progression is just taking some of these family members and putting them in a certain order, and that gives us a sort of vibe and also helps us uh, propel the song or move the song in a certain direction. And the most common chord progression would be what we call the money chords. So let's check out the money chords. So all the money chords is, is it's one of the most popular chord progressions used of all time. And that order would be one, five, six, four. So it doesn't matter what key you're in, what scale you're using, what major scale, it's always going to give you that same vibe because the relationship of those chords stay the same no matter what scale you're using. So in the key of C, 1 would be C major, 5 would be G major, 6 would be A minor, 4 chord would be F major. So if we played those chords in that order, you would have the money chords. And we'll check this out on the keyboard. So what you can also do is once you learn those money chords, is start doing some variations of those money chords. So let's check that out. So we have the one, five, six, four, but we can take these four chords and start moving them around. So the first one would be maybe one, four, six, five. All right, so that gives us a different vibe. Same chords, just in a different order. The next one would be the one chord. 6 chord, 5 chord, 4 chord, All right, we can do one more, take the 1 chord, 6, 4, 5, All right, and that's that sort of old school doo-wop, like Earth Angel, right, that was big back in those days. So learn the money chords and then start just scrambling them around. And then another thing you can do is take those money chords and start replacing one of those chords with the two or the three chord. You can think uh, dad and brother. So we can swap one of those out. So we'll start with the one, five, six, four. Now we'll do the one, the five, and let's swap out that six chord for the two and then the four chord. So that'll sound like this. One, five two, four. Has a whole nother vibe, wants to keep going. Then we have another one, we could take the one chord, swap out the five for the three, six, four. So that'll sound like this, one, three, six, four. One, three, six, four. And another way to try is one, five. Swap out the six now for the three and leave the four. So we got one, five, three, four. One, five, three. Four. Now, once you get the money chords, another thing you can do is instead of focusing on the one chord like we've been doing, we can focus on the six chord. Now, remember, that's that emo cousin, so now we're kind of going to have a little darker vibe. And a lot of times this would be considered an A minor scale. We'll get into that in the melodies, but let's not confuse things. Let's just keep it simple and see the relationship. So it's still the money chord, six, one, five, four. Um, 
or 1564, but we just kind of moved it around. And instead of focusing on mom, we're focusing on that emo cousin. So now we got the six chord, the one chord, the five, and the four. Right, you've heard that before, like hello. Or counting stars from One Republic. Next thing we can do is six, five, four, one. So that sounds like this. Six, five, four, one. And one of the most popular ones, we get rid of the one chord and just do the six, five, four, five. So again, six, five, four, five. Right, the home is more of that six chord, so it has a darker sound. So let's see how this looks on the keyboard. So let's check out some chord progression. So again, we talked about the money chords, the most popular chord progression ever. Uh, and that is the one, five, six, four. So in the key of C, that would be C major, G major, A minor, F major, right? And again, you don't have to play it going up. You could also play one chord here, the five chord here, G major, six chord, A minor here, and F there, right? And in my book, I also talk about inversions, so Instead of going down to G like this, I could just go here and just move a couple fingers, and now I have G there, G, B, D. Right? It's just changing up the order. But we're going to keep it simple here and just do root position, meaning the root is always going to be in my thumb. One, three, five. So once you get the money chords down, just try different combinations. So we got C, one, we could go to the four, to the six, and then the five. Right, so one four, six, five, right? And you can change different patterns, try some different rhythms, try and make it musical when you're practicing. Right, the other one we could do one, six, five, four. Almost has that sort of walking down effect there. Another one could be one, six, Four. Right, this is very popular back in the doo wop days. Practice that too. Try arpeggiating chords. Right, that's just breaking up the chord. It's still the chord, we're just breaking it up in sort of like a little pattern. It's not a melody. So if I did the money chords. So you could have some chords being played full on and then have another instrument breaking up the chords. The next thing is to start taking the two and the three chord and substituting the money chords. So we have the money chords. One, five, six, four. So now I'm gonna swap out the six chord with the two chord. So I got one, five, two, four. Again, there's some big jumps here because we're not doing inversions. Let's try that one again. One, I'll just keep it simple here. Five, two, four. All right, another one would be the one, three, six, four. So we're swapping out the five for the three. So one, three, six, four. One, three, six, four. And then another one we can do is swap out the six for the three. So we got one, five, three, four. All right, that's a nice, because that half step from this minor chord to that major
Another thing we can do to get more minor chord progressions is focus more on that six chord. So this would technically, theoretically, be in a minor scale, but we're not going to worry about that because we want to keep that same family relationship and not lose focus of that. So if we focus on the six chord, that would be like that emo cousin. So here's the six chord. I'm going to do it down here. One, five, four. All right, so this is a popular chord progression. You've heard this from Adele's Hello or One Republic's Counting Stars, right? Another one, you could do 6541. And then a very popular one is to get rid of the one and just do 6545. Five. So we got 6, 5, Four, five. This one you've heard Jimi Hendrix all along the Watchtower, the big guitar solo for Led Zeppelin, uh, Stairway to Heaven. Also, uh, Monsters, Eminem, somebody I used to know. Right, that verse is just six and five. And they're just going six to the five. And when the chorus hits, they're going six. Five, four, five. Just a little, little pattern there. Also, this is Starboy. You could also uh, start on the five, and you would get I Can't Feel My Face. Hang out on that six. Five, four, six. Another thing to do is just maybe uh, use some minor chords. So focus on the A minor. Then maybe go to D minor. Maybe just back and forth between those two. Or maybe back and forth between the A minor and the E minor. Then maybe if I go to the four, kind of building tension up to the five, gets me back to that A minor. So you'll see how these chord progressions will move you through the song, right? It's just where you want to take your listener. So practice those, get those down, and when we come back, we'll uh, check out some melody. Mm -hmm. 